Hello folks, Scott here. This is my second month with Paper Pumpkin. This is my second kit. Uh, this is uh, Paper Pumpkin's third birthday. So we got special uh, turquoise colored boxes for the kit this month. Uh, they've also just passed the millionth box Paper Pumpkin kit that they've sold. So congratulations. This is my second kit from Paper Pumpkin. This is the... Um, pocket full of cheer um, kit makes these two uh, different gift cards of course I first naturally went through and made the two cards as described in the kits per the instructions this is the small gift card with the little card inside and the belly band on it. Nonetheless, this is uh, the directions for this piece that they gave us. And this piece, the second card, this is made how they asked. Um, nice, interesting. I found it very odd that the gift card um, slot was on the envelope. I just kept picturing somebody throwing the envelope away without realizing that there was a gift card there. This is the card, the Happy Happy with the Balloon. A nice stamp set um, and very useful for this time of year when graduation is looming. These are the two cards from the kit as per their instructions. So I decided I needed to try and do something else with them. So I racked my brains with things that I can do with just the items in the kit. So, of course, I have to make an envelope out of the envelopes. And I did go into, I kind of combined materials from two cards, from both the small and the large card, to make this slider card. So that the gift card pops out at the top as you pull the bottom up. Here it is sideways. That's closed, open, that's it. There's nothing else on the card. A little space for you to write something down there, but at least a magic slider card. This used up materials from both sets. So I figured if I wanted to get more than three or four cards out of this kit, I needed to introduce some other materials. So I actually used an extra piece of white card stock for the inner workings on this. So an extra piece of four and a quarter by five and a half inch cardstock for the workings. And of course, your little plastic bag. But then I decided that since I broke my use no materials, but what's in the kit rule, I went ahead and broke out a piece of craft cardstock and made these cards. Um, I used one piece of craft cardstock for two cards using the small pieces from the small card. I've got a hooray grad here, and here's the gift card holder inside with, um, you did it right there. I like that. So of course I had to add an envelope. I did add an envelope for that, just a simple craft paper lined envelope for that card. Uh, then the second half of that piece of uh, craft card stock I created this card with it. I love the little pom-pom here. This is a straight congratulations card. It does have the graduation cap and the fourth little gift card on the inside. Spot for your gift card and a spot for writing. Simple, a little bit more substantial than just that. Of course, I added one more envelope, of course. <laughs> then it was back to the big card. And I, of course, had to make envelopes out of the envelopes. I think these is really pretty, and I kind of was disappointed that they hid it inside this envelope. So I made envelopes with the envelope as is. There's a little you did it right there. Um, some twine. This is an envelope would hold this card. Hooray grad, another graduation. I know lots of people graduating and just the plain gift card pocket on the inside. I cut up a lot of the uh, 
extra pattern paper and made this Hooray Greg card. And then of course, I've got to have a horizontal one too. So again, making the envelope. This is my last card from the set. Just for you, I took all of the little uh, circle um, tags and split them in half, created a little flower here, kind of echoing the tulips in the pattern paper just for you with then the gift card slot on the inside of the card. I didn't have quite as much fun with this kit as I did with the last one. I thought this was a little bit more monochromatic color-wise, although I do love the Bermuda Bay ink spot. But that's what I came up with. I hope you enjoyed it. I liked this kit. Uh, it just didn't excite me quite as much as last month's kit did. Uh, next month, we're supposed to get an extra stamp set in celebration of their uh, Paper Pumpkin's third birthday. So give me a comment. Uh, tell me if you like this. We'll try again next month. And happy Paper Pumpkin!